you're moving to Delaware and you're not sure what to expect, well, in this video, I'm gonna go over top five things you can expect when moving here to Delaware. And some of them may not be as obvious as you think, but after watching, you'll definitely know what to expect when you're moving here to Delaware. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Brandon Wyndham and I help people buy and sell homes here in Delaware. I've lived here my entire life and on this channel, I talk about what it's like living here in Delaware. And if you're thinking about potentially buying or selling here in Delaware, I love to have a conversation to see if it made sense for us to potentially work together. So I'll put my info on screen now and again in the description below. So the first thing to expect when moving here to Delaware is going to be vehicle registration. Yes, I said that correctly, vehicle registration. Now, this one has actually caught a lot of my clients by surprise because you just don't think about vehicle registration when moving to a new state. And yes, you're definitely gonna need a vehicle when you're moving here to Delaware because like I've talked about in some of my other videos, Delaware isn't a very walkable state and our public transportation is not so good just to be nice. Back to the main topic, when you're registering a vehicle here in Delaware, we actually have something called a vehicle document fee. Now, Delaware can call it a document fee, but to me it feels like vehicle tax, but it's a whopping, now make sure you're sitting down for this, it's a whopping 4.25% of purchase price or not a book value, whichever is greater. Sheesh. So if you're registering a vehicle here in Delaware, you might just want to be aware of that before you do so. Now, the next thing you need to be aware of is that Delaware is slow. So what I mean by that is the overall pace of Delaware in general is pretty just chill and laid back, especially if you compare it to, you know, other big cities. People tend to just kind of go with the flow here and they're kind of on their own time. And that may be just because everyone comes here to retire or it may just be a Delaware thing. But it's definitely not uncommon to just be out and about and someone just sparks up a random conversation with you because they liked your outfit. Or just because maybe you guys are just both in line at the grocery store. And that may be off-putting if you're from the mean streets or somewhere that has a bit of a faster pace, but I promise they don't mean any harm. It's just Delaware, we're just friendly here. But I will tell you one place that Delaware is definitely not slow, and that is the highway, specifically Route 1 in Delaware. Let me just break it down for you. Let me just give you the unwritten rules of the road here. That right lane on Route 1, that's for, you know, if you want to go to speed limit or maybe five or 10 miles over the speed limit. That left lane, that's for people really trying to break the law. So if you're not trying to speed speed, just kindly please get out the way. No, but I'm serious. I swear I cannot tell you how many times I'm driving on Route 1 and maybe I'm doing 10, 15, sometimes even 20 miles over the speed limit and then someone will just completely like blow past me like they're on a drag racing strip. It's actually still pretty mind blowing even now and I, I mean, I've lived here my whole life. Now, the next thing to expect is going to be convenience. So the definition of convenience is the state of being able to proceed with something with little effort or difficulty. And honestly, I think that describes Delaware to the T. What I mean by that is that almost everything that you're gonna do here in Delaware kinda takes no effort for the most part. At least your day-to-day -day living, for the most part, commuting anywhere is only gonna take you maybe 30 minutes at the max. And everything is probably gonna be within 30 minutes of you as well. Even in the most rural parts of Delaware, it may seem like you're out in the middle of nowhere, but you just take a 20 minute drive and you're right back into civilization or whatever you need. So all those basic necessities are gonna be right there for you. And honestly, Delaware is so small, if you're driving 20 minutes, you may end up in a different state altogether. Speaking of other states, another thing that's super convenient with Delaware is our close proximity with the other state. So if you did wanna potentially get out of the state to maybe catch a 76ers game, because unfortunately Delaware does not have a professional sports team, I mean, that's only gonna be maybe a 30, 45 minute ride depending on where you are, which in my opinion is very reasonable because I've talked to other people or just, you know, looking at some of the other states and 30 to 45 minutes is not even gonna get you to your closest grocery store because of 
all of the traffic. Now, this next one is kind of a bonus fact. You probably already know this, but I couldn't make a video without talking about it. And that's Delaware doesn't have any sales tax. So that means if you see a price tag that says $4.99, when you get to the register, you're gonna pay $4.99. As simple as that, <laughs> nothing extra. Let's move on. The next thing to expect is going to be mother nature. Now, honestly, this was something that I really didn't realize, or I guess maybe I just took for granted because I've lived here my entire life. And I didn't actually notice it until I started helping people from out of town. And they just had this look of wonder and uh, they just so taken back from just all of the open spaces in nature that's pretty common here in Delaware. And just as something as simple as having woods behind the home, and I mean, just being so shocked because they saw a goose roll, uh, a goose walking around or just strolling through, and just birds and wildlife chirping in the woods. But here in Delaware, that's kind of a, a common occurrence here. We have a lot of nature and open spaces all throughout the state. I mean, we have 17 state parks all throughout Delaware that include over 20,000 acres of land and another 160 miles of trail. Now, just to put that into perspective for you, Delaware is only 96 miles long from the top to the bottom. And also, in addition to all of the state parks, we have a lot more recreational areas and open spaces all throughout the state. And each town and city usually has some type of park, open area, or trails for everyone to enjoy. And I'm not even getting to the beaches, which is kind of Delaware's claim to fame. Now I say all that to say, if you come from the concrete jungle or maybe a bigger city, it may be surprising for you to see a deer crossing the road or maybe a big old turkey vulture just on the side of the road. So you're definitely gonna wanna make sure you bring your binoculars for some bird watching because we have plenty of nature and animals here in Delaware. And just to piggyback on the whole mother nature thing, the weather here in Delaware is honestly pretty boring. I mean, it's pretty mild. We have all four seasons. You know, sometimes it snows one year, another year it doesn't. And um, we usually miss all the, you know, big natural disasters. They seem to just miss Delaware for some reason. But hey, I'm not complaining, but it does rain quite a bit here. Now, the next thing you need to expect is home prices. Now, this is just something I need to put out there and discuss because I've actually gotten quite a few calls from people who just don't have the, I guess, the correct expectation when it comes to home prices here in Delaware. And I don't think it's their fault. I, I'm just not sure if maybe a lot of people started to look at Delaware like before the pandemic and now they're getting back to their home search and, you know, Know, we're quite a few years removed from that. Now, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but the secret is out about Delaware. And because of that, home prices have been increasing rapidly. So those days of coming to Delaware to potentially grab a single family home for 200 grand, those days are long gone. So the days of coming to Delaware to get a steal and maybe buy that single family home for $200,000 are all but gone. Now, don't get me wrong, as far as average price goes, Delaware is still, you know, quite cheaper than our surrounding states. But because Delaware is so small and you have a lot of people relocating from other states and just local people wanting to buy here in Delaware, there just aren't enough homes. Now, just to give you some perspective, the average home price back in 2019 was around $225,000, give or take. But now, as of 2024, those prices have shot up to right around $350,000. Now, a big part of that has to do with the pandemic, but also because Delaware is growing quite a bit. But now, if you're wondering what type of house you can buy with your budget, I actually made another video discussing that right here.